elite, yeah. bro. You were fucking you, and still are elite. I've got to tell you, and you know what it is, um, yeah, because if if I don't, these guys know. These guys watching yeah. know the real. The killer killer podcast. The killer killer official .com. <laughs> Instagram UK frontline. Beatbox created. Killer killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer killer podcast. Let's do this. Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Killer Keller Podcast coming to you live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be. Um, it's a Thursday, or it should be. Big shout out to our friends, Graffiti Kings. And without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you a king, <clears throat> an all city king, Zonk, TK. What's Lexi, going on, brother? DDS. What are you saying? I'm good. Good to I'm see good. you. I'm good. How's it been? All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. Surviving. Just loving life. Yeah. yeah. Fresh out. Only yeah. recently, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, fresch out of jail, yeah. yeah. About three weeks. Yeah, three weeks, yeah. Three weeks, yeah. I mean, and I know there's always time, but it's something I've never ever actually done. Um, yeah. I know it's not recommended highly, is it? No, nah, no. Nah. Life's short, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrible place. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's just. Just wasting away in there, aren't you? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. Eat, eating away the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like I say, it's a fucking pleasure having you on. A lot. You were highly uh, requested. Really? Also, yeah. It's funny how people just presume that I can just yeah, yeah, get him. Yeah, of course I can. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but but some things are, are harder than others. But it's, it's a real pleasure to. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. It's love. Yeah. It Thank really you. Is. Thank Thanks. you for having me. Yeah, I know you've you've been checking the uh, the podcast. Um, as well, so yeah. I always appreciate it. No, no, it's a lot of fucking head to do. It's like it's that for me is like a, a buzz in itself because it's you know these are, these are people that, like yourself who I grew up with. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's fucking great. Um, and yeah, there is a uh, there's a journey that I think we work parallel on because we're the same age and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, roughly the same age. Roughly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but let's take it back. Let's go right... Let's get straight to the meat and veg. So, <clears throat> originally North West London? Yeah, yeah. Born yeah. and bred. Born and bred. Yeah, yeah. Um, was, when, when did you, like, first discover graph as being, like, the thing that you were like, yeah, I want to do this? Like, let's go back to your childhood. When, uh, how old were you? Well, when I started, first started graph. Yeah, when you... Yeah. Oh, boy. Maybe 12, 13... Yeah, where, you know, start to, you know, the whole concept of a tag and what graph is and, yeah, just getting, just learning about this thing. Um, but, yeah, I'd say maybe 14 where I thought, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm involved. For real? Yeah. The, I mean, I know this is news, actually, to be, like, I had no idea Teach was your cousin. Yeah, Teach is my cousin. He's like an older brother. That's you know, crazy, yeah. like, I, my I cousin, mean, yeah, family, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a real family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did he have an influence on... Massive influence. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You grew up yeah. with him. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Because yeah. um, I, I can see, now that you've said that and you see that there isn't a more <clears throat> traditional school look about your stuff. It feels like, it feels like you, you, uh, you, you harnessed a lot of the... Um, techniques like you had already it was almost like when you came out I remember you coming out and it's bang it's like this guy already had it <laughs> do you know what I mean it already looked like um, ahead of itself it, art wise yeah. I, I'd have to like you know credit my mum my right. I, I, you know from a young age I just should always be drawing with me on a daily basis so that's definitely where I, I really started if, if I was to really go back to the beginning yeah. and yeah you know, yes. constant development from that. Yeah, was she a, was she a, an influence in in art? Is is it art more than vandalism? Where graffiti is concerned with you? Uh, it's more art, but a bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. What's your what's your uh, what's your influences like? What who were the influences with you growing up? Where, um, where graph's concerned, outside of teach, obviously. Um. Usual suspects, Shoe 2, Sub 1, Diet, Elk, Asia, Mean, Drax, mm. you know, the big names mm. in and around London, mm. yeah. So at 13, 14, you were, you were clocking the... the yeah, you know, you understand it. I think, I think really Sub 1, Sub, 
I got, he made me realise, right, it's about repetition. I'm seeing this guy everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, because it's North London, it, it, you know, it's streets that um, I'm familiar to. Yeah, Sub so. was very much that area. He was well was up, yeah. yeah. He was super, so up. Super up. Soup, so up. <laughs> that was him as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, he was a major influence. Um, but, yeah, like I said, my, you know, all the names of that era. As you know, innit? Yeah. Because, you, you know, you just look about and see yeah, who's yeah. doing it. You're fucking king, dude. It's crazy. And I remember in the in the early, yeah, mid-90s, <coughs> 96, 97, maybe. Yeah. You were part of a new generation of DDS. This hectic, intense, like, you and a handful of others, small handful of others, you know, were, it was almost like an attack. <laughs> An attack on on London, and it was in, it it was a sight to behold. Um, yeah, it was a good era. It was yeah. a good era, wasn't it? Yeah. Talk to me about that era. Uh, so a new generation DDS, it was me, Cos, Take, all, all yeah. them names, them names there, really. Yeah, mid nineties. Um, I think I got in DDS when I was about fifteen or something. Teach put me in it. So around yeah, from then, from then on, I really. You know, that was my era. And you really went to town b yeah. based on the, the, the privy of being like in one of the biggest crews. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it like to be... A, in the EDS, yeah. well, that was everything, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big thing, in it. Yeah. yeah. I made it, yeah, wow. Yeah. I'm accepted and part of the, the elite or whatever, yeah. you know. But, um, yeah, that's something that I always wanted, starting out in it. You know, you, you want to be in the best crews and whatnot. But as soon as, yeah, as soon as we got into that, that was it, yeah, just, that was my sustained period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, did you get in and around the same time as Cos? Yeah, probably, probably in and around, yeah, Cause about the same. <coughs> I just remember you guys being, yeah. and big up Cos too. Yeah, yeah, all big up Cos. All day, because I know brother. he's your boy out, yeah. He's my, boy, he's my brother, he's my Cody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. my spa. Yeah, man, even That's to this boy. day, even to this day, right? Even to this day, it's yeah, beautiful. Literally. Love it, and you know, he's such a tough so, um, well. he's a good yeah, boy. Yeah, you know, Usually have a partner in crime kind of thing, mm. and yeah, he's definitely one of them. Yeah. Definitely yeah. that guy, and uh, yeah, we just worked out. If anything, we spurned each other on yeah. as well. He's from South, I'm from Northwest, and it just worked. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's why you it guys worked. had it on lock. Both ends of the city, and yeah, and we both shared the same vision and drive, mm -hmm. and addiction. You know, because yeah. this thing's addictive. It's addictive, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. Do you think there's re rehab for that shit? <laughs> Seriously, do you, do you mean this is like graph rehab? Graph rehab, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely addictive. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, you guys, with some of the blockbusters you've done, a lot of the... I, mean, I remember one in East Croydon. Yeah, the day, there's yeah. loads, loads. loads. Too, oh, many, yeah, too, many too many to, many to mention, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how is that for you? Because, like, being all city... It just must be a blur. Like, do you remember specific paint emissions or anything? Yeah, it, it's literally a blur. <laughs> when I look back at it, because a lot of it is repetition, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a good. It was, you know, adolescence, childhood. It was a great time was growing up. Yeah. As, you know, participating in this scene. Yeah. Being, you know, one of the characters in the scene, and yeah. just imposing your personality mm. with your art all across the city. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really enjoyable. It was great. It was and a great it's time. Certainly a time. It's certainly a good time to cut out amongst the rest because there was this white and black, like, look on the, on the tracks. Yeah. To, 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 to define yourself and cut through the noise, you had to be of a pretty high standard. Didn't you? You know what I mean? I mean, you and Cos were definitely. Yeah. You'd you'd notice a Zonk piece. Yeah. Immediately. Is yeah. That, and that's even to this day, which is for me, it's just like crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's personality, definitely. Personality. Yeah, yeah. People say about the podcast. <clears throat> I think I think you said it actually, yeah. and uh, in this day and age, to get like a a face or a voice to the, you know. Years on, when yeah, things yeah, 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 more yeah, past yeah. tense, isn't it? About that earlier, yeah. Um, so, when you see a tag, 
and you, you don't you haven't met the person, mm. but because you've seen so much of their work, it's almost like you you feel you that you know them mm. a little bit, you know. Um, so there's that element to it. Um, and when I used to like when I was younger and I used to meet writers and I'd be oh, and they wouldn't always be how I expected them to look. Yeah. So I quite that mystique is quite. It's quite. It's a good thing, yeah. but um, I, I want to show a personality behind mm. the name mm. because it's a part of me, and I'm I'm a part of Zonk, and Zonk's a part of me. Mm -hmm. It's my alter ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, definitely, I, I want to you know put a voice behind the name. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, a lot. So of, it's nice. Yeah, I think so. I think for giving back to the scene, um, you know, I, I said this before. I can't remember I said it too, but you know, Kings and Toys was the kind of my generation's blueprint of understanding the the, the 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 thought process of writers yeah it kind of opened the box a little bit in terms of like what goes through the mind of a, a yeah. writer and what their implications are and the benefits and stuff yeah this this as a platform now not only is it a good conversations um platform but like you say it opens that box a little bit more and allows people and personalities to come through and actually Dot joining as well. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's more interactive. I like that, you know? Yeah. Especially this age of uh, social media, you know? Mm -hmm. I think back then, when I was at my peak, uh, that was social media, a real life social media. <gasps> do, do, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. That's so, cold. like, <clears throat> there was no Facebook or Instagram or anything like that back mm -hmm. then, but you're kind of living in a real life social media Sending you a do message. a piece yeah. you get likes you get criticism you get love yeah. uh, you create a buzz yeah, yeah, yeah. um and that is what social media is now do you know what i mean that's crazy yeah. true so it's so true you can become well obviously with, with social media you can become known without physically having to do a great deal you can do you can be creative in your bedroom and just mm. upload it and da 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 Super quick as well. Yeah, super quick. So, uh, great. I get it. It's great. Right. And, uh, yeah, it, it's now, in it, whether yeah. we like it or not. So yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you just got to go with the flow. Do you think there's a... Do, do you think the, the pressure is on for, like, writers? Now? I mean, obviously, we talk, what we're talking about here, a lot of it is just past tense and retrospect. But yeah. now, in this day and age, with writers doing their thing, do you think, like, do you think it's easier or do you think it's harder to be famous with, with graph? It's easier. To be famous, because yeah. you, you 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 don't need to take risk. No. Do you know what I mean? You can be an internet writer, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. never have having to uh, you know put yourself out there in, in such risky situations, or, or even your liberty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like get nick for it and that. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's easier to become famous now, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some hot boys out there. There was putting in the groundwork that. Yeah. Would have happened back in the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. force, I'd say. To be reckoned me. with, yeah. Seriously. You, 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 yeah. Whether you like it or not, you can't ignore it. Right. And you've got to respect that. Yeah. He's you can, putting in the work. He's got his style. You, you I respect the work rate <coughs> without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, your thing has always been, even now, it's always been work rate, isn't it? It's like whatever you put your mind to, yeah. you're doing, isn't it? Well, it's, it's, to me, it's both, isn't it? It's, it's your talent, mm. it's how good you are. And your work rate, mm. they go hand in hand. Yeah, do you know what I mean? We in the nineties. I mean, <clears throat> how old would you have been in uh, when when at peak? Sixteen-ish, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Those, those years there. Young. young. Yeah, young. Yeah. yeah. What did yeah. what did your parents think about like you going out and doing all nighters and stuff like uh, that? Well, my dad died in ninety eight, so I was seventeen when he died. Yeah, he kind of knew that because he didn't live with me with me at the time. Right. I live in Crickwood. He lives in Kilburn. So he's Irish, right? Irish, yeah. yeah. And you know, it is what it is, isn't it? You, you don't mm. <laughs> you don't want your your son, you know, mm. out and about do, doing something that you know. Yeah. It's it's, it's not seen place, as yeah. it's not seen as you know it's not work, is it? It's just like a hobby that's taken up a lot of my time that's what it looks like but it is what it is you know um, it's crazy you say that actually it's a hobby that takes up a lot of your time yeah that yeah. turns into a lifestyle yeah 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 i mean yeah i mean 
in this day and age now, you know, you can, there is, you can, it, it leads to other paths in career, career yeah. wise. You know, back in the day, it didn't so much. Did yeah, it? yeah, that's right. That's right. It just seems like I'm wasting time. I need to get my head down and get a job and whatnot. But, but I can't help myself but to yeah, go out. Yeah, yeah, because I'm I'm part of this thing now, whether I like it or not. It, you know, yeah. it's a, elite, yeah. bro. You were fucking you, and still are elite. Like, thank you. Yeah, you know I'm saying like, surely Stop at it. this point, yes, no, you no, you do this all the time. I still, Stop I've it. got to tell you, and you know what it is, um, yeah, because if if I don't, these guys know. These guys watching yeah. know the real. They know the yeah. real, and that's what's interesting is that. Because you made so much presence in the nineties, yeah. late nineties, and that it kind of imprinted. It, even now, you can st still see those on tags and pieces. It's like yeah, no, yeah. you could make you could make a commodity off of that. Surely nowadays, yeah, potentially. I, th I mean, that's the dream for me. Obviously, if you, if you if you can make a living out of something you love, then. You've stopped working, haven't you? Yeah, it's yeah. not work, is it? No, it's fun. So, yeah, you know, mm. I'm open to any kind of work to, to yeah. do with, you know, art right. and creativity. Yeah. But you know, it's uh, an artist's life can be, you know, as, as yeah, I know. grinding as well. You know, qu yeah. quite grinding. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's not. It's not. It's not consistent. That's the problem. You know. That's the problem. You get, you know, you get your rare cases like, you know. Banksy, yeah. iron, yeah. you know, but that's one in a yeah, million it's true. stuff. It's a handful, isn't it? It's, it's one in a million stuff, you know. It is, yeah. I wonder what, defi what def defines that. What's that? What's the synergy that makes that happen all of a sudden? What's the sweet spot? I wish I knew. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew. Well, let's yeah. uh, let's relate this because <coughs> you do know the sweet spot because you you set yourself as work rate, and the fact that you took it to the hottest place you could ever take it to. Both of you and Cos, like, took it to the mountain. Do you know what I mean? You do know it. Yeah, no, I get that, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got my place in this... Your history? Yeah, in this fantastic thing, but, you know, it is... Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I'm, I'm just grateful and thankful that I was a, a, a participant yeah. in this... Extremely humble dude, man. <laughs> Love it. Um... How old were you when you went to your first yard? What, 13? Yeah, 13. Wow. Like 13, yeah. How'd that feel? So I think you remember that, day. 93, yeah. 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 Who like, was it with at the time? It was my, with my friend Jay. <laughs> he, he writes Jick. <laughs> I was about 12 years old. He must have been about 11. Mm. 12, 13, something like that. Really yeah. young. Yeah. I didn't write Zonk then. I, I used to write Bonk. Bonk? Yeah, B-O-N-K. And uh, it was gold is green, mm. and we just did a few a few tags with a black jack black. I remember it very well, and I remember someone seeing it. I think Misto, Misto seeing it or something. Mm -hmm. And they, they're like, "Yeah, hey, you just did some bush bombing." I didn't even know what bush bombing bush was. Bombing, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you mean bush bombing? No, yeah. we we went to gold is green yard, and you know, uh, yeah. So I can remember that vividly. So I was about twelve, thirteen. Wow. So we went into Golders Green you know, on the daytime thing and just did a few tags. Daytime? Yeah, daytime. I just did a few tags and quickly, wow. quickly, quickly uh, legged it out, innit? But um, yeah, that was the first time. Mm. That was the first. Yeah, it's a buzz. I bet it Painting is, yeah. trains is a buzz. Yeah. yeah love it. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. The smell of the train. The... Yeah, it's a buzz. Of course, we're talking retrospect here. This is, this is past tense. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. yeah. But um, Not that I do that now. No, not that he does that now. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, fact. And it's also fact that um, when it comes to uh, your style, I there's not one medium that I haven't seen it on. Like, when I think about how because, you know, outside of trains, I remember pulling, I remember a train pulling in at East Croydon and I just looked around and there was this mini, it was on the back, of, it must have been on the back of like a truck or something that was right up against the gates and it's just this mini dub of Zonk. Yeah, really? I think it was in, I, I think it was in red and green. It's like you had done the tag, but then outlined it. It just looks sick. Yeah. And I can't remember. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I talk about this to, to writers all the time. Like, oh, I don't remember that one. I don't yeah. remember that. Um, but yeah, you've you're you've really got kind of a broad artistic 
flair that can be adaptable on different mediums, haven't you? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, in fact, yeah. that's the fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I've seen Thanks. it. Like I'm on your Instagram, you've got the, the, the um, portrait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's yeah. that? That portrait, uh, it was the last thing I posted, wasn't it? Um, yeah. That is a picture of uh, Paul Smith, the fashion designer. Oh, really? It's a picture of him, yeah. You into fashion? Yeah, a bit, but not 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 really like that. It was it was a good picture to to draw. That was the only reason. I have no real affiliation with Paul Smith, but it was a good picture. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it was a good picture to draw. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and also, of the time that DDS was going crazy mm. with with you guys, um, you know, drum and bass was, you know, up there. Mm. Garage was just coming in. Mm. Um, that's probably where we cross paths in our yeah. life sense sometimes. And, and grime, sense. the emergence of grime, grime as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all that era. Yeah, I had this feeling like that. Gr graph for you guys wasn't as centralised as it's this sort of music. It's hip hop. It's blah blah blah. You guys were taking it in different, more cultural places, and it felt like there was that that influence of music. You, I mean, you were saying yourself, you were into garage and yeah, and bass. I mean, it's all artistry. Yeah. It's all artistry, so you know we're connecting that in that. You know, I just respect creativity. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it is graph music, video films. Do you know what I mean? I just respect creativity, something different, the new thing. You know, mm -hmm. um, it kind of yeah yeah. Like I said, like like you said, um, that era. Mm. It was popping. There was so much. Yeah, creativity. it was a great time. It was a great time. Mid yeah. mid to late nineties was a great time. Yeah. And and Graf kind of has this. It has its own world. Mm. It's like a different. I think a lot of people don't associate creativity enough with Graf. Like a lot of people just like to consider themselves vandals, and mm. but I think that's probably where the, the your particular generation of. I think that's where that crossover, that, like you say, new creative stuff came out, and I'm not sure why there is this kind of. Vandalism first attitude about it. Yeah, well, yeah, it goes hand in hand. The, the, vandal, the, the vandalism aspect, damaging, mm. destroying a property, mm. just killing something mm. with loads of tags and throw ups and something like that, you know? Mm. And then obviously the beauty of doing, you know, a really nice piece, making it attractive. Attractive. Yeah. What, 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 what makes a piece most attractive for you? Um, there's many elements to it, but it, it, first and foremost, <clears throat> I want just competence. You can fill something in neatly. You've got neat lines. Mm. Then the second bit would be like the creativity. Mm. Well, you're doing something a bit different. Mm. Yeah, I rate that. Mm. Or them things where you think, oh, mm. I wish I thought of that. Yeah. yeah, those things there, they're the things that, you know, that uh, I think it's the competitiveness mm. in you. That inspires you to... Yeah, mm. your ego, mm. you know. It, it's, it's things that make you want to paint still, that make you want to keep trying to be better, mm -hmm. keep improving, mm. taking, it, taking, in, taking your influences around you, and how society and times are changing and just, yeah, use everything to inspire you to make new stuff. Mm, that's fire. Yeah. It's crazy knowing you now. Yeah. The, the, what, that world is, it has ego and it has aggression yeah. and it has a lot of characters which, <clears throat> which in most scenes... People, some people disassociate themselves with. How, how, being as humble as you are and chilled as you are and creative as you are, how did you fit in to the scene back then? How, taking into account the, the volatility of the scene and the egos and the clashings. Because you don't seem like that kind of cat at all. Um, I think when I got into the scene first, you, you just it happens, you know, you just fall into it, you know. Um, but as as I progressed through it, 
I understood the better I got, the more prolific I became. It gave me, it, it, it elevates you. Mm. It gives you more self-worth. Understand that what you're doing gets you like respect mm. in all different kinds of circles. Mm. You know, it can reach a massive audience, mm. all different walks of life. And um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's benefited me even when I, when I stopped writing, it still follow me, mm. some of the, the respect aspect of it. Mm. And that's something that I love Graf for. Mm. It's a two way thing I've mm. put in work and it's given me some bits and pieces back. Yeah. Out, the, the good outweighing the bad, like being caught or, <clears throat> you know, anything yeah. like that. It, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it outweighs all of that. That, the respect. that respect, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for me, there's not a great deal of negatives to mm. me in Graf, you know. Um, if anything, it kept me out. It, keep, it keeps me out of trouble, yeah. it, like really bad stuff, and mm. you know, um, it's yeah, it's it's, it's love, isn't it? Yeah, love yeah. for the game, yeah. And and also, <clears throat> I think at that time of you and the rest of the 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 guys being up so heavily, I think your attack on on the city as a whole, I think like. It was so fresh to the likes of me and other people. Yeah. And I, pre-internet. Yeah. There's absolutely no way you can, you can forget it. Yeah. It's just, it's like it's imprinted. So, you know, in these situations where, yeah, do you want to come around for podcasts? It's like, you're like, yeah, this is another world for you yeah. that you wouldn't normally have had it not been for graph. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that <clears throat> concentrated period of your life. Is, is is there a sacrifice to that? Did you sac? Do you feel like you sacrificed a period of your life to to get your message across? It's it's the path you take, I suppose. I mean, you could say that. I mean, if I wasn't doing graph, I might have, you know, a different journey. Mm. But uh, it, it, yeah, it was. It's a journey. Sacrifice. It, did it feel, it doesn't feel like a sacrifice? It doesn't feel like a sacrifice, no. <coughs> yeah. No, it doesn't, because it's love. If you love something, it's not work. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like, yeah, no, I, I don't feel like... I mean, it was a two, three-year period of a sustained mm. activity, mm. yeah, a lot of graph on a regular basis. Yeah. Daily, would you say it was daily? Not yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. It was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was and you'd raise in, raise in a day? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah proper, yeah, a, a, a graffiti artist's life, yeah, yeah. You really did that yeah, shit. racking, getting paint. So it's like in, yeah. in, out, in, out, in out. Just on a daily basis, it just consumes your life, isn't it? You know, yeah. it's you're addicted to the game. And uh, wow, but there's some PR companies out there that are just they, they kill for like someone like you working on the team for a project. You know what I mean? Like, bang, 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 knocking out these. Yeah. Um, speaking to teach and a handful of others that have come through, telling me the stories of, you know, teacher's house. Just yeah, cotch in. Yeah, you know, green uh, sofa, green sofa. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Um, and who else was it? There was another. There's another place you used to cut. Uh, Ideas House, oh, the brown sofa. <laughs> I love. What did you also know? Green or brown, boys? Yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, some glorious like stories I've heard of just like awesome chill times, and it doesn't all yeah. doesn't always it's not always graph associated. You guys are just like hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just growing up, um, friends, alliances, groups, um, yeah. Teacher's killing it right now as well. Yeah. The Maharishi stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, See, it's, I'm so it's, proud it's of him, man. Yeah, I'm so, so proud of him. It's a fantastic path, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That he's, uh, but he's put the work in, you know? Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. And still being prolific and fucking cool with it as well. He's still there. He's still, still there. there. Still there. It's, it's charming to know that you guys are all still tight. Yeah. Family. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Anything else you want to add? Because I do hear there's a book in the pipeline. Yes. Next year. Yeah. 2020. Um, I'm middle-aged. 40 next year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Congratulations. Uh, you made it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, I've had a... Yeah, that's that's something actually I want to mention. My brother, who, who used to write joke. Yeah. You know, he died coming up to 10 years ago now. No so way. he died when he was 23. Yeah, leukemia, oh, wow. leukemia. Oh, wow, sorry to hear that. No, Shit. no, no, God bless his soul. Yeah, God bless. But um, So every day, 
that I'm alive, you know, it, you know, the pressures, because life's hard, you mm. know. Uh, the pressures of life and, you know, we all get down. Yeah. Always a reminder, you know, yeah. my brother died at 23. Yeah. That's, you know, you, you, yeah. you haven't even started life really, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's so, crazy, it's a crazy thought when you... Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's appreciation. It's as, you get life older, as you get older, is, you realise, don't you? Life is a gift, <clears throat> you know. Yeah, it's easy to forget that because it can be a nightmare sometimes. So, yeah, that's something that all I, I think of, you know. You're a very spiritual appreciation. character as well. Yeah, my mum was spiritual. Yeah. My mum was spiritual, my dad was Catholic. Yeah. So they just said, make up your own mind. Yeah. And, yeah, I, yeah there, there's definitely a spiritual element in, yeah. in what I do. Um, but, yeah, so next year I want to drop a book because I think my story outside Graph... It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. It's really interesting. It is really, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Are yeah. you, do you refrain from telling me because you're like, no, 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 it's the book, it's the book. You can yeah, yeah, it. yeah. There's some, yeah, it's just... This is just it, like, we're talking on podcast here, this is just one part of his life, like one aspect, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm dropping a book next year. You're going to see it. Um, I'll, I'll mention it on my Insta. Um, but yeah, it's about my life outside of graph because mm. if you knew my story, you'd be horrified at some of the, some of the things. Do you know what I mean? Because I've done like I'm forty next year. I've probably done eleven years behind the door in Jesus prison. Jesus Christ! That's if I was to add up my sentences, and wow. um, yeah, I've got a lot of stories and a lot of things to, that that I, I I believe I'll have a duty to tell this story because some of the situations I've been in are unbelievable. You know what's crazy is that mm. you don't. <clears throat> For someone who's been in that amount of time, mm -hmm. you you don't seem institutionalized at all. I hope not. Not at all. I, if you t if someone says to me, oh, he's been in jail, if you they would have told me like six months from now mm. when we're really tired or whatever, and someone said to me, oh yeah, I'll be no, nah. because yeah, just, it's, that, that sounds even you saying eleven years is like what? Yes, yeah, it's, it's horrifying. <laughs> when I think of it, when I say that, when I say it out loud, because it's, it's over a quarter of my life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and but you know it's, it is what it is. It's my life story. It is what it is. Um, <clears throat> there's good and bad with it. You know, I try and take the positives. I'm naturally an optimistic person, mm -hmm. and you have to be to live the life that I've lived seriously because some some of it has been horrific. Oh. I don't know how I'm still here. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know how I'm still here, but I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still breathing. Yeah. I still love life, yeah. um, and I still appreciate every. Day, you know extremely positive yeah like an energy because it's a gift yeah it is a gift yeah. i believe yeah it's right being positive having yeah, a life i believe it's a gift i mean yeah you'd be pretty boring if you had a life doing nothing I mean, yeah, we, yeah, we'll yeah, say yeah, 11 yeah 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 years, but let's put it in context you know your life is super colorful yeah i mean on and off walls <laughs> i tried to ask my question myself this question on a regular basis um which is would I, knowing what I know now, would I do it all again? Mm. Would I do it again? Yeah. And it's crazy, but I'd say yes, even though some of the lows have been really low. But it's, uh, the highs are high, the lows are low. Mm. It's, I don't really seem to have that, that, that medium, you know, that middle ground. But Life's a roller coaster. And it is, yeah. We wouldn't want it anyway. I'm st still here, still enjoying it and still loving it and just appreciative. Of life, yeah. So the book's going to reflect all of this, am Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe you're doing a book. That's going to yeah, be yeah, sick. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of scary stories in there, but, but, but yeah, one, one in particular, which is really? giving me the emphasis to, to definitely... Because I was approached a couple of times to, to do a book, and I was like, yeah, half-hearted. But now, yeah, I feel, yeah, yeah, definitely, I've really got a story to tell. Really? So, there's, yeah. so there is some weight that's happened recently that... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, are, yeah. you, are you going to put some pieces in the book? Are you gonna yeah, put... I'll do some pieces. Put some old pieces. I've lost a lot of photos. I've lost a yeah. I don't. I've lost a lot of photos, but I'll do a few yeah. old schools. I'll show a couple old things, yeah. and I'll do a couple new things. Yeah. But I think I don't know. Maybe the book could be about thirty, forty percent graph, mm. and, and the rest yeah. is is my life outside it. But yeah, it's It's going to be interesting. Yeah, can't it's, wait. Yeah. You know. What's, <clears throat> you know, it just triggered me my thinking when you said yeah. about the losing of photos. Yeah, it's always the first thing people do nowadays, isn't it? The first thing they want to do is take a photo and put it up on Instagram. Yeah, your uh, the DDS AC. 
era um, is marred by lack of yeah history, f- historical photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so tough. It's like hard. It's yeah. using just having your memory of that that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Well, that's the most important thing it's really important is thing, is yeah. is the memories. Yeah. Have you ever brought any? Have you ever put anyone into the crew? Or DDS? Yeah. No. No. No, I don't feel it's my place. No, okay. You don't think so? <laughs> no. You're that like the... you're of that like league now. Where you... Yeah, yeah, but uh, I guess no. it's too far removed, isn't it, from uh, Saab and I'd rather, you... I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't <coughs> want the pressure of it to be honest. Mm. AC, yeah, that's my uh, causes of mine, you mm. know. So that's different. Mm. That's but the EDS, mm. that's iconic. It's yeah. bigger than all of us. It is bigger you know than I mean? anything, I know. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And we can only, you know, respect the forefathers. And like, like you say, just you yeah. just don't go there. You know no, what I mean? No, no. But AC's different, isn't it? You AC, know? yeah, yeah. All city. It's kind of crazy how it's, it's, gone, it's got its own legs now. And just you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's loads of people in it. Uh, it's, yeah, uh, it's all good, isn't it? You know, it's yeah. big. It's, it's, yeah. it's bigger in South, I think. Yeah. I'm not going to take any more of your time, brother. These people out there are going to be so chuffed you made it on. Thank you for having me, you know. Yeah. Humbling. It's love, bro. It's love. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, my G. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, the mighty Zonk inside the ride. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not sleep. I repeat, do not sleep on my repeat. You stay lucky, all right? Woo, let's go.